Come on, give God some glory. Come on, open your mouth and bless him. Amen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth. Put your voice with that hand clap. Hallelujah. While you're standing, do me a favor and hug about three or four people around you. Uh, wish them a happy new year. Uh, tell them how nice they look. Amen. Amen. And you know what else you can do? You can take a few pictures, you know, take some pictures, you know. Take some selfies, some ussies, and all that good stuff. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to the Spirit and Life Ministry New Year's celebration. Um, and, and see, I'm, I'm so grateful. I see some folks from Palmdale, from our Palmdale location is in the building. Amen. Amen. So we're all one family tonight. And we're all celebrating together. Um, make sure you uh, take some pictures. Some, some of you need to take some pictures of me in a tie because that's a rare thing. So, so I'll be I'll be floating around taking pictures with you. And uh, but we're gonna have a great time tonight. We're going to bring the year in. <laughs> Elder Colon said, "I'm gonna do it right now." <laughs> but um, yeah, these rare occasions. So you have to go ahead and and, and take the shots while you can. But um, just wanted to get, we're going to get started in a minute. I just wanted to just uh, welcome everybody and um, let you know we're going to have an awesome time. The Lord has got a, given us a great word for tonight. We're starting the year off the right way. And uh, the Lord is about to launch you into something magnificent. Amen. You've got to believe God for that. How many of y'all believe it? Come on, give God some praise. Come on, give him some praise. All right, let's do it like this. Let's stand all over the building, and and I, I know we're gonna. I know it's a lot of us in here, and thank God for that. But let's come on down front. Let's just come, Amen. Remember where your seat is. Just come on down front, and um, and just get close, and that way you can really see how sharp everybody looks. Everybody got their black and white, Amen. Uh, you know. But uh, we're good, amen. And just get as many as close as you can. If you can't get all the way down here, that's fine. Uh, but um, I'm telling you, it's all, it's exciting because you're setting yourself up for an outstanding 2019. Amen. How many of y'all know the Lord has got you prepared for now? Amen. I was. Uh, I was just sharing with the uh, uh, sound guy back there, and I was like, man, he's, I said, I said, we're here Sunday, and he said, yeah, I was here yesterday, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it was yesterday. <laughs> you know, it seems like a long time ago, but um, the Lord brought us through, has brought us through a miraculous and powerful month, and, and he was obviously preparing us for something big, and the Lord has dropped some great things on us. I wish I had somebody that, that can say, yeah, man, he's dropped something on you. So... So grab somebody's hand real quick. Amen. And you understand you're holding on to a real person. Amen. And uh, the thing that all of us have at this moment, we uh, made, I made a post today on Facebook and Instagram uh, because sometimes the enemy thought he had you. Last year he thought uh, they could discount you and count you out. And, and sometimes we counted ourselves out. Amen. But, but the thing that they, the Lord was doing was he was getting us ready. All of that was preparation. And, and now we're all looking with great anticipation. Amen. I was preaching yesterday about, you know, my earnest expectation. Amen. How many of y'all are expecting something? Amen. You're expecting it. Now listen, please understand this what you believe, what you speak into your life, what you say over your life is going to be critical. No negativity. Don't entertain it. 
Just keep believing what God has shown you, and it's coming to pass. How many y'all? How many y'all know that's true? Squeeze that hand ever so gently, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We lift you up. We magnify you. We we just honor you for all that you're doing for us and what you've done and how you brought us thus far. Because truly, Lord, we have come this far by faith, leaning on you. And we thank you for your goodness and your mercy and for your kindness. Oh, God, let those hands go. Give God praise. We thank you, Lord, for how you have helped us. You've kept our minds. You've kept our hearts. You've kept us going. Lord, even when we had moments of doubt, even when we had moments where we were upset, even in moments where we, we seemed like we came up short, you kept on coming through for us. You held us up. Even when our foot slipped, your mercy held us up. And so we come to give you glory as the only wise God, our Savior, our everything. You are the only one, hallelujah, that has spoken the world into existence and keeps even every one of us, amen, alive and keeps us thriving. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because we realize that every season is our season because you have made it so. And we glorify you today. And Lord, as we come tonight, to let you lead us into a brand new year as we turn the page hallelujah as we close the chapter on 2018 lord we come with eager anticipation with intense anticipation looking forward to what you're about to do in our lives and we thank you and we praise you early we don't wait till it's all over we praise you early hallelujah we thank you in advance for the healing for the deliverance for the financial breakthrough, we thank you. For salvation, we thank you for deliverance. We thank you for keeping us whole on this night. Slip those hands up towards heaven. And Lord, you see each and every one of us. You see those that are watching. You see those that are tuning in just to worship you. Lord, look on every situation. Meet every need according to your riches and glory and it is so let it be in jesus name in jesus name amen come on give god the best praise you can hallelujah open your mouth hallelujah his praise shall continually be in your mouth open your mouth and bless him hallelujah 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 Come on, give him glory. Hallelujah. Before you turn and go back to your seat, hug two people and tell them I'm excited about your future. Tell somebody I'm excited about your future. Hallelujah. Give him glory. Give him glory. Come on, come on. How many y'all excited? Amen. As the praise team is coming, now let me tell you something. You got to get excited about your own future. Tap yourself on the chest and say, I'm excited about my future. Hallelujah. I'm excited about what God is doing. And I, da I, I dare you to just release everything that's on your mind. Everything you've been thinking about. Everything you've been concerned about. Everything that's been troubling you. Let it go. Let God handle it and watch what happens. Amen. Now, as, the, as Sister Ruby and the praise team are coming, look down your row and, 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 and check your row real quick and say, it's praisers only on this row. Oh, no, no, I don't. I, and now, now, check this out. If they're not if they don't even look like they want to praise God, feel free to switch seats with somebody. Because I know there's power on the first five rows. I know that. Well, I know the first five rows on this side. I know they're ready. They're ready. I pray over the first five rows every, every week. So there's a special anointing on the first five rows. I don't know. See, now, if I was sitting in the far back row and I just heard that there's a special anointing on the first five rows, I might be switching my seat. I don't know. 
Yeah, see, see, somebody got it. Amen, my brother got it. He said, listen, listen. Somebody just stepped you, just stepped into favor right now. See, some of y'all think I'm playing. I, I, I literally walk these aisles and pray. And, and I said, well, those that sit in the first five rows, they step into a special anointing. But, but tonight, every place is anointed. Lean on your neighbor and say, neighbor, you have been blessed because you're sitting next to me tonight. You are blessed to be sitting next to me tonight. You know why? Because everybody in here, the Lord has given you enough power to touch heaven. And we sure enough going to touch heaven tonight. Give God praise as Sister Ruby Green Farmer comes with the praise team, the Spirit and Life praise team, with them bad selves. And the band, give God praise as they come. Come on and get up on your feet. Put your hands together. Are you looking forward to the future? Hallelujah. Say, I'm looking forward to the future. And it starts tonight. Come on, say it again. I'm looking forward to my future. And it starts tonight. Come on, repeat after me, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in Come on, let's sing it again, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the Rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice Can we sing it one more time? Come on. Say, This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Help me say, Hallelujah. We praise your name. Hallelujah. We lift you high. Yeah. 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 Let's take it up a little bit higher. Come on. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. See, I will rejoice and be glad. Come on, speak it over yourself. Come on, say. This is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad. Help me say. Yes, Lord. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We praise your name. Hallelujah. We lift your heart. We lift you high in the praise. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. Okay, hold on. I see you clapping, I see you rocking. But then I don't see nobody's lips moving. Without the singers, come on. This is the day that the Lord has made. Say. Uh-huh. Come on. Say, I will rejoice and be glad in it. I gotta be honest with you, Bishop Hamilton was right this side of life beating y'all. Y'all want to do that? Y'all want this side to be shot? It doesn't matter about the number of people. You can still see, like, you can really, really, really go in. Come on. This is the day that the Lord has made. Just a sec. See that? Come on. Say, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Okay, 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 okay. You got a little competition. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, lift up your voice this side. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, let's get on one accord, everybody. Come on, say this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We lift you high in this place. 
God has done for you this year? How many of you, Sister Ruby said it on Sunday, if you think, you thank. Every time you think back, you open up your mouth and you give God thanks because you realize the things that he's brought you through, the things that he's brought you over, the things that you're still walking through, the things that you're still growing through. And you can't help but open up your mouth and give God praise when you think about how you could have been dead, how you could have been lost, how you could have been scarred for life. But God spared your life. And there's some of you are saying, yeah, Jay. Yeah, Jay, but I've still been through a lot this year. But some of you don't realize that the year 2018 was a setup from God. Some of you don't realize that this was the year of character development. So that when 2019 comes, you don't have to do the work. You've done the work already. So when 2019 comes in, all you have to do is reap the benefits of the work and the labor that you put in with God. Y'all ain't listening. <laughs> so if you really, 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 really have a relationship with God, and I'm not talking about the kind of relationship that you only have on Sunday or when it's convenient for you, but if you really want that relationship with God in 2019, let me see you raise your hand. How many of you want to be closer to God? How many of you are chasing after God? Hallelujah! Yay! I'm so in love with you! <laughs> I'm so in love with you!
continue to lift God's name. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. We lift his name on high. Hallelujah. How many of you love to sing his praises? Hallelujah. 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 We love to sing the praises of our most high. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together like this.
building. Come on, put your hands together. As you're standing for a second, for a little bit, just for a second. Yeah, we'll be right on time. I'm going to have uh, a couple of folks come and give us some praise reports. Brief praise reports, I gotta emphasize that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, anyway. But before they come, how many of y'all know God has done something extraordinary for you this year i mean uh, all right let me put it this way how many know god did some stuff for you this year that nobody else could have done and you knew it was god you knew it was god all right i want you to get into a group about two or three of y'all just grab somebody and and i want everybody in the group to testify come on come on take a lot of, a lot of music still playing just find some folk and tell them at least one thing that God has done for you this year. Give him a praise report. Come on. Wait a minute now, some of y'all, some of y'all just dancing with each other. But you gotta, you gotta give a praise report and you gotta receive a praise report. Now once you've given a praise report and received a praise report, now magnify the Lord together. Come on, come on. Everybody got one? Everybody heard one? Now give God praise for what you heard and what you said. Come on, open your mouth. God bless you. You may be seated for just a moment. I'm going to have a couple of folks come real quick. Don't worry. I'm going to get you out like right after midnight. <laughs> midnight East Coast time. I ain't going to hold y'all in here three more hours. But I want Evangelist Ruby Hamilton to come, my mother. The dynamic one. Uh, let me let me let y'all get a good look now. Yeah. Uh, I want her to give us a brief, and I'm gonna say that one more time, because I know she's getting full. But as they used to say in the old church, can't tell it all. But give God a praise for my mother, Evangelist Ruby Hamilton. God bless you, Bishop. God bless you. I am certainly grateful tonight, even for this opportunity to be here in the house of the Lord. And you don't know how glad I am. I don't take this lightly. This has been a trying year, but it's been a year of triumphant and many manifestations. God has shown himself in my life in a miraculous way. It was interesting here, uh, First Lady likes to come to see me on the holidays, and almost every holiday she's gonna come to just spend some time with me, and it's always a blessing. But this time we said we always go, we will talk about the goodness of the Lord, we will discuss scripture. So I'm trying to give uh, uh, First Lady a scripture, and I said, well, the Lord said, <laughs> he kept me here to bless me. And I'm looking for it. I'm just running. I'm looking and looking. <laughs> and the Lord said, I, I looked for days because I thought surely I had read that somewhere. And the Lord said, well, I've got many promises, 
of blessings. But I spoke that, oh, come on, oh, shut up. Glory into your spirit. See, God is still speaking his word. We think that the scripture is all the word that God has ever given. That is not all of God's word. Even as one place where it said that even the, the, the word, uh, that there are many uh, words that were not written. But these are written that we might believe. Because we realize. So I thank God for speaking. This has been a year that God has been prophetically speaking to my heart. I, I was telling, uh, I had a visit of a minister a few days ago. And I was telling him about how the Lord spoke to me, oh God, Emma Shia, that he had set before me an open door. He spoke to me out of Revelation. Now that really was in the Bible. <laughs> but I thank God because he has proven himself to be a way maker. And I, I oh, Shanamahaya, glory, a provider, a shepherd. Oh God, I'm a Shia. Glory, and I love him for it. I, I love the Lord for the praise team. And I, I will probably close with this. But the praise team sings a song. Oh God, now Pastor, I'm not going to sing. I am not going to sing. <laughs> I know he's nervous. <laughs> but they sing what he brought me over, oh my soul. But oh, she coming on high. Glory, but the Lord has sung that. That song has helped to get me through this year. Because many a time I have had to bless God out of my soul. See, it's one thing to bless God when, oh, Shanamahaya. But when your soul blesses God, it's like Mary where she said, My soul doth magnify the Lord. My spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. So I thank God for the blessing that comes out of my soul. And I'm going to close with that tonight. But I'm certainly grateful. I love you all. You, you don't know how you're in my heart. So I certainly thank God for this opportunity. God bless you. God bless you. I'm looking forward. I'll tell you something else I'm excited about. Pastor had us lead it. <laughs> uh, you no, did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was so excited over that expecting on yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And he had us lead it. Oh, come on, shut up. Glory says, I am expecting great things from the Lord this year. God bless give God. God. Come on, give the dynamic one. I, 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 love, I love teasing mom. But now she could have gone on and on, but I know. But she was really obedient and really nice, and I thank God for that. And, and before I, I bring the word of God, uh, Pastor Jay Payne has been uh, my right arm. And uh, I certainly thank God for him. I'm so glad that he and Sister Tatiana are here tonight. Uh, and this was, and now if you want to know why uh, the whole black and white thing and dressing up, that was their idea. So uh, it's all their fault. But anyway. <laughs> But I, I love him dearly, and I thank God for his spirit and for all that he has done. Uh, he's, been a, he's, a, he's a real blessing to this ministry. And I will say this. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without Pastor Payne and, and Evangelist Hamilton and Pastor Gensilla and Elder Cologne. I wouldn't be able to do what I do if it wasn't for the ministry and the staff and people here. And uh, so I wanted to give him a shot at just saying a little something. Uh, you know, just to thank God for what God has done for him this year. Give God a praise for Pastor Jay Payne. Amen. Bishop's clean, isn't he? He's sharp. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. Amen. Praise God. First Lady, Mother Hamilton, all the saints of God. Let's give God praise for being in the house one more time. We're all packed out like the old days. Amen. Seems like kind of unfair because uh, uh, you guys get to hear me all the time. I testify all the time because where would I be if it had not been for the Lord? Hallelujah. Who was on my side. Hallelujah. I say some people get to make the choice with walking with God. And I say this as a praise report unto the Lord. I have no choice because I know without a shadow of a doubt, if the Lord wasn't on my side, I wouldn't be here. Hallelujah. What a great and mighty God we serve. 
I stand here and I see the testimonies of the saints and I'm living your testimony. God's a healer. God's a deliverer. Your financial situation, your job situation. There is nothing too hard for God. And I want to thank and praise God tonight for my wife, Tatiana. Happy anniversary, sweetie. Amen. I'm not even going to quote the year because I might get it wrong. I'll just say thank God for 12 plus wonderful years somewhere in that neighborhood. God has been good. She didn't know uh, when, the, when, the, when they said in sickness and in health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That over half our marriage she would be a caretaker as well as a lover, as well as a wife, as well as a friend. And I thank God for her. I thank God for all of his goodness and his mercy. And it seems like you see me testify about health and things of that nature all the time. But this year was really, really, really unique for us. Um, you heard some of the testimony, but I know we go through things where we feel like we're losing our mind. But to have a doctor tell you, you are losing your mind, that's a whole, that's a whole nother degree of faith, let me tell you. And I really started begin, you know, and I was praying, believing God and going through that. But when I start being able to remember scriptures, yeah, Pastor Payne got scared. Yeah, I'll tell you. When I, I couldn't recall scriptures anymore, I, and I, I remember one Sunday waking up, and I, I said something to the effect of, you know, I don't feel like going to church today, and I don't know, I must have scared Tatiana to death, because the next thing I know, she had put out emergencies calls to saints and friends and prayer warriors, and, say, I, and you know, I just began to realize that in, in all of our years together, she had never, now the Lord has given us wisdom when we come back late from trips, and maybe at midnight not to go to church the next day, or things like that, but she never really heard me just say, you know, mentally and emotionally, I just don't feel like going to church today, it must have scared her to death. Because she's calling my friends across country and all the prayer warriors and, and everything. But God is a good God. Hallelujah. 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 I'm hearing the doctor say things like early stages of dementia. Oh, God. Hallelujah. But he said, guess what? We can stop it. But I couldn't even get past the what? The what? The what? Lord, have mercy. But we serve a mighty God. My memory came back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Energy enough came back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm here today by the grace and the healing power of the almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, there's nothing that's too hard for God. God bless you as we go into 2019. Come on, let's give God praise. Come on, for all the praise reports you heard and all the praise reports we just heard. Come on, give God some glory. As you're standing all over the building, as you're standing, we're going to go into uh, the word of God. But I want to pray. The Lord is good. And... Um, Every now and then you have to hear, as just everyone standing, as we everyone standing and going across the aisle if you can, it's important for us to hear uh, testimonies. It's important for us to hear praise reports because, and, and because it, it helps us to keep pushing. Amen. Every year, every year has its own set of challenges but it also has its own set of victories. And as I said yesterday, the, the good days outweigh the bad days. And so we have to learn how to keep celebrating the good days because the good days help us to have a little more faith during the tough times. Amen. The person you're holding on to right now has been through a few things, but they're here tonight. And they're clothed and in their right mind. And God is a good God. Squeeze that hand. Father, we thank you for just allowing us to hear once again of your goodness and your mercy. We're so grateful that you've given us this space, this time to be here and to be able to be used by you to bless others, to be walking, talking, living testimonies of your goodness and your mercy. Now, Lord, tonight, speak to our hearts once again, as you always do. 
Somebody's on the edge now, Lord. Somebody's facing the new year with a little bit of apprehension because they're not sure how things are going to go. But Lord, you're going to have us move by faith tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give us the courage to step out by faith. Squeeze that hand. Meet all their needs according to your riches and glory. Save, heal, and deliver. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Come on, give God a praise all over the building. Amen. I want to thank God for my lovely wife, Sister Carla, and for my two wonderful children, Angela and Randall. Amen. I'm, I'm very proud of them and thank God for them. And as I said, uh, even about Pastor Payne, if, I wasn't, if it wasn't for them, amen, I wouldn't be here clothed and in my right mind. So I thank God for his goodness. Run with me to Isaiah chapter 54. Isaiah chapter 54. I will be sharing with you also the theme for 2019 for Spirit and Life Ministries. But Isaiah 54, and we'll read the first four verses. Then we'll drop down. And we'll read hmm, verses 15, 16, and 17. Isaiah 54. And I appreciate all of you coming out tonight. I really do. Uh, you all have encouraged me by showing up. Amen. Amen. Uh, every preacher wants to see a good full house when you can. <laughs> so, so Isaiah 54 we'll read verses 1 through 4 and then we'll drop down to verse 15, 16 and 17 if you have it can you say amen, amen. if your neighbor did not bring their Bible or they didn't get a new Bible for Christmas please be a good neighbor and share the word of God with them I also want to thank God for all the folks joining us online we appreciate you God bless you all. Isaiah 54 and 1 says, Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, Lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth. That's what I say, forget all of that stuff. Forget all that stuff. And shall not remember thy reproach of thy, the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. Can the church say amen? amen? Verse 15 says, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Verse 16, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work and have created the waster to destroy. Verse 17, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Can the church say amen? amen. Key verse is, amen, sing, O barren. Look at your neighbor and say, praise your way to your breakthrough. Now that was a wrong neighbor. Say, praise your way into your breakthrough. 
Come on, give God a praise all over the building. Come on, open your mouth. This book of Isaiah, it's interesting how we started the year in Isaiah. In fact, uh, our theme for 2018 was a new thing. And uh, we started with, of course, the Lord saying to them, behold, I will do a new thing. As he had told them uh, in previous chapters, just a few chapters over in uh, chapter 43 of Isaiah, he had told them very clearly, the Lord had shifted Isaiah's vision and said, now, I want you to give them an understanding about what their future is going to be like. I want you to understand what's going to happen and how I'm going to turn everything around. He began to tell them all that he already had done for them. He began to talk about the history, their legacy, and how they had brought them through, amen, over the Red Sea and had brought them into the Promised Land and how he had blessed them and kept them and protected them. But then after he had told them all of that, then he said, forget all of that stuff because I'm about to do something new. Y'all didn't catch it. What he's saying is, as much, even the good stuff that I've done for you, I don't want you to dwell on that. I don't want you to dwell on your past. I don't want you to keep all of that in your mind. Sometimes what we do is we build monuments to moments in our lives where we say, this is where the Lord has blessed me and I can't really move from there. Or this is how thing I got through last, amen, trying time and I can't move past that. Or, amen, this thing was so difficult for me that I don't even understand how, amen, I can make it through. And I don't know if I can ever become the person that God has shown me that I should be because make no mistake about it the Lord has shown each and every one of us something uh, y'all didn't hear me I'm gonna try over in this side the Lord has shown us something the only reason we're here is because the Lord has to I mean, basically draw you out you can't come to God except you are drawn of God there was something that brought you amen to the Lord nobody can just bust up to God on their own it's because God even everybody that comes to him must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him you know somebody say the reason I'm here because I'm diligently seeking him and when I diligently seek him I believe that he will reward me amen if I come after him with everything that I have can somebody say amen the problem is when we come to God he doesn't tell us all the stuff that's got to happen in between. Amen. Even when he says, I'm going to do a new thing for you, he doesn't tell us. He didn't tell us everything that was going to happen throughout 2018. He didn't tell us about the highs and the lows. We shouted, amen, last year. Amen. Because we believe that this was going to be our year. And God got news for you. It was your year. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, that was my year. Oh, y'all, that was the wrong neighbor. Look at somebody say, it was my year. Amen. And guess what? Next year is going to be your year too. Hallelujah. Because the Lord told us something early in the year. He said, every season is your season. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. It doesn't matter what's going on. It's all my season. You've got to carry that attitude with you everywhere you go. That yes, I'm stepping into 2019 with the confidence that the same God that brought me through every other year in my life is going to do exactly what he promised he was going to do if you believe it open your mouth and let me hear you shout hallelujah uh, and so the Lord uh, was telling them, he said, I want you to understand, Isaiah, tell my people uh, that I can show you all the great things I've done uh, and then say, don't even dwell on that. Uh, forget about that uh, and don't even dwell on the past. Uh, he said, because I'm about to do a new thing in your life. Uh, I'm about to come forth and do something. Uh, he said, I'm doing a new thing uh, and now it will spring forth. Uh, the Lord told me to tell you this that you're getting ready for the now springing for time you're getting ready for some things to come up suddenly I ain't preaching that one tonight but I just want to remind you of what the Lord 
Lord already told you that it's going to spring forth. Whatever God has spoken into existence, it's got to come to pass. Because he told them in another place in Isaiah, my word will not return unto me void, but it will accomplish the purpose for which I sent it. Give somebody a high five and say, God's going to do what he said. Open your mouth and let me hear you praise him. But understand, he had to let them know very clearly. He says, you got to believe the report. That's what he told him in the 53rd chapter of Isaiah. He says, who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? In other words, if the Lord sends a word, you've got to believe it and embrace it. Hallelujah. The Lord has been preparing us all month long to be able to move into 2019 with confidence and faith understanding that everything that is we're, that we're coming into is going to be ours in the name of Jesus shake somebody's hand and say I'm stomping into 2019 with confidence I'm not scared I'm not worried I'm not doubting I'm not upset I'm not mad but I believe what the Lord has told me Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shake somebody's hand and say, it's got to happen. Tell them it's got to happen. But there's always a little bit of anxiety. There's always a little nervousness when we're stepping into those things, when we're hearing promises and prophecies about what God is going to do. Because sometimes we let all doubt and fear creep into our minds. We begin to believe, amen, those naysayers and some of the people that were in our circle, amen, that never saw God's hand move or never admitted that they've seen God's hand move and they always have a negative word for you but I got a word for you right now you're leaving that person in the 2018 you're not going to walk into 2019 you're going to have to amen amen limit the people that have access to your ear amen you can't let everybody put everything in your spirit you are a child of the most high God and you are going to accomplish everything that God has ordained for you hallelujah I wish I had about 20 people that believe what God said hallelujah give your neighbor a high five and tell them neighbor I still believe God I still believe what God said I don't care let me get back to the text understand very clearly he said now what I'm looking for that even though we all like sheep have gone astray we've been led everyone to our own way amen how many of y'all know you did your own thing a little bit last year you kind of got off track but God brought you back in line hallelujah you were tripping a little while but amen he brought you back in line Amen. He let the trial make sure amen, that you started praying again. He let a little trouble hit you where you had to hit your knees every now and then. He let it get so bad and you realize, I need to get back in line. Hey, now, it's okay. The camera's on me. You ain't got to, amen, got to hold back your praise. Amen. Understand, though. But what God told him was, as we get into the 54th chapter, he says, I want the barren one, the one that hasn't produced anything yet. Amen. How many of you know you're living in an era at a time in your life where you haven't got it all yet? There's some stuff that you haven't produced yet. You had, you know it's coming, but you haven't seen it yet. Who am I talking to? When you don't see it right away, you get a little nervous. You get a little discouraged. But he says, what I want you to do, and the Lord told me and spoke this word to me a couple of days ago because he said, how, Lord, Lord, how how are we going to finish up this month of lessons that you've been giving us? He said, what I want you to do is sing your way into your breakthrough. How is this going to be? 2019. Amen. Our theme for next year is hashtag 2019. Amen. The year of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Lean on somebody and say hashtag breakthrough. 2019. This is the year that God is going to do it. 
this is the year that God is going to move. Look at somebody and just say breakthrough. You ain't gonna have a breakdown. You're about to have a breakthrough. Shake your neighbor's hand and say neighbor. Oh neighbor, it's your time. A breakthrough. You thought you were gonna have a nervous breakdown. But God said, you're going to sing your way into your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Give three people a high five and just say breakthrough. 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 In your finances. Breakthrough in your health, breakthrough in your family, on the right hand, on the left hand, breakthrough everywhere you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says you got to praise me by faith. That's why you got to lengthen the cords of your tent pull up the stakes get ready for what's about to come y'all not talking back to me get ready for what he has promised when you got a baby coming into the family you don't wait till after it's born you start baby proofing the house you get the bedroom ready you get everything prepared look at somebody and say, all month long, the Lord has been getting us ready. He's been getting you prepared. Your character is in line. Your thinking is in line. Your health is in line. Your spirit is in line. And the Lord said, now it's about to happen. Pull up those things and sing while you do it. Praise your way into your healing. Praise your way into your breakthrough. Praise your way into a fresh anointing. Praise your way. Hallelujah. 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 Five more minutes. He said, listen. I want you to understand something. He says, sing, oh barren woman. See, you want to praise me after you get it. He says, sing when you ain't got nothing. Sing when you ain't got no money in the bank. Let me hear you praising when all hell is breaking loose and you're doing what he told you. He said, sing. Oh, barren woman, break forth into singing. You that haven't had any children. He said, because you're going to have more than what the folks that already had kids are going to have. Lean on somebody say, next year is the year of more. Hallelujah. You're going to get more than you ever imagined. Okay, I got about five people that feel me. He said, I'm bringing you. He said, you're gonna, when you stretch out the cord. He said, I want the woman to stretch out the cord of her house. They can put different panels in. And expand the house. The New Living Translation said, get ready for expansion. Hallelujah. Wait a minute, wave your hand over your area. And say, I'm about to break forth on the right hand and on the left hand everything around me is about to increase I wish I had I wish I had somebody everything around me is about to get bigger and get better yes it is yes it is yes it is watch he said LinkedIn he said expand enlarge the place of your habitation stretch forth the curtains lengthen the cords 
strengthen the stakes. You're going to break forth on the right hand and on the left. And your seed, he's talking to a barren woman and saying, your seed will inherit the Gentiles. He said, I was mad at you for a minute, but I ain't mad no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I wish I had somebody. He said, I was mad for a minute, but I'm not mad anymore. He said, because you're getting ready to break forth. Push your neighbor and say, neighbor, I know you're tired of me, but I'm going to get you to break forth into a praise and break forth into singing. And don't be afraid to praise him when you see your haters and you see your enemies because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that runs their mouth, God's going to shoot it down. So all you need to do is keep on praising, keep on lifting him up, keep on glorifying him, keep on living for him, keep on walking with him, keep on giving him glory, give him praise, give him praise, praise your way into your breakthrough, praise your way into your healing, praise your way into your victory, praise your way into your financial security, praise your way. As you're standing, it's time. As you're standing, as you're standing, grab those hands. <laughs> we got a minute. We got a minute. And I don't want you to go quietly into this. Look at your neighbors and get ready to make a joyful noise. You ain't got to be on key. You ain't got to be in tune. It's okay if you're a little pitchy. Amen. Because now is the time for you to give God glory for what's coming for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can let those hands go now and start praising. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. This praise shall continually be in your mouth. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, open your mouth. Hold on. Hold on. Open your mouth. Clap your hands. You need the blessing. You need the breakthrough. Open your mouth and give God some glory. Hallelujah. 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 Hug somebody and say happy new you. Hug somebody else. Say happy new you. Somebody said we crossed over with praise. Hallelujah. Lift those hands. 
Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We glorify you. We magnify you. We lift you up. And Lord, we praise you in advance. We're praising you on credit. Hallelujah. And we know you're good for it. You'll do just what you said. And we thank you for the breakthrough. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ready to go. A couple of things we're gonna do. If you need prayer, run down here right now. Come on, ministry team, if you can. Just line up, just line up, just line up, just line up. Just line up. Tell you what, let's see, let's see how can we do this. Amen. I guess I gotta lay hands on all y'all. Listen, listen. What we're gonna do, we're gonna lay hands on you as you come through. Amen. But come through with victory. Come through anticipating. Come through leaning in. Getting ready. Lean on somebody say, lean in now. But listen, after I lay hands on you, if you need more prayer, the ministers are here. But then listen, we're going to receive an offering. Hallelujah. And what you do tonight is going to set the tone. Hallelujah. There's some of you in here tonight going to give $50. Either $50, $25, or something close. $24.99, $20, but you're going to get something in your hands. Because we're going to celebrate what God has done for us tonight. How many of y'all know he's done something? Give him praise.
How many are ready? Also, we have uh, our little oil containers and blessed cloth. We have those for you this year, too. Amen. So we're going to have those passed out. We're going to receive our offering. We're going to pass those out. And then you all can take some pictures and go home. Amen. Y'all all right? All right, just take a, give them a few more minutes with the folks at the altar. Hallelujah. Give God praise all over the building. Come on, give God glory. Thank you, ministry team. God bless you. Come on, give God glory. With a loud voice, give God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, ministry team. If you need an envelope, Sister Sylvia is going up and down the aisles. If you'd like to give electronically, we're going to have that ready for you. We got the aisle. But I want you to get something in your hand. Come on, deacons, come on. Hold that offering up as you get it. I just want a number of y'all to stand with me with $50 tonight. I don't do that often, but and I don't do it at all, but there's some of you that are going to be able to commit to that. Just wave that offering in the air as you're standing all over the building. Wave it. I'm telling you, you set the tone. The seed you're about to sow right now. Hallelujah. How many of y'all know you need a, how many need a financial breakthrough? Wave it. You can't get 50, get 25, get 20, get 10. But, and if you if you can't get, get that, just look at somebody and say, give me five dollars. Let me hold five. As you're standing, get your offering in your hand and stand all over the building. Get your offering in your hand and stand all over the building. Everybody that can stand, stand. Everybody that can stand, please stand. And that's all right. Give me one of those. Give me one more. Come on. Who else? Blue, 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 blue. Blow, it, blow it again. Blow it again. Do it again. Do it again. Kylie, Kylie, do it again. Thank you. All right. Hold that offering up. Lord, we thank you for the financial breakthrough that's happening in every one of our lives. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for the financial breakthrough of Spirit and Life Ministries. In Jesus' name, no more lack, always in abundance. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Come on and bring it. If you'd like to give electronically, see Sister Deanna. If you'd like to give from your phone, paypal.me forward slash spirit and life. I hope we're still online. Are we still online? We're still online. Y'all can do it too. Hit the donate button. Amen. Bring it with some joy. Get a big smile on your face. And If you like blessed oil, hold on. Just go back to your seat and come back. If you like blessed oil, amen. We want to receive the offering. God bless you.
Priscilla, do it, help her. Pastor Priscilla, hold on. Hold on. Amen. Come on. I know we got a little traffic jam. We got offering. Pastor Priscilla, if you can help me. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Has everybody given? Has everybody been able to give yet? Everybody's been able to give. All right. You got some more. Everybody been able to give? Amen. Welcome to 2019. I love you. God bless you. 